Okay, hey everybody, welcome. Oh, kitty's walking around in the background. Well, that's that's normal in this house. We're just gonna go ahead and call that a normal state of affairs. Anyway, um, yeah. So it's time. It's time for the return of weekend type fun. Electric Boogaloo. Dun dun dum. Uh, do these fonts make my text look fat? Or is it the freaking spaces for the space bar? That's like a massive space. Makes my text look fat. But not like pH fat. Like, actually, like... Oh my god, did you see? <laughs> Jessica, she put on like five ounces... And when we went to the beach the other day, you could so tell. No, I think she had a smoothie and she let them, like, put fruit in it or something. Anyway, I'm done being friends with her. Anyway, okay. It's, I don't know, this guy's recording Return of Weekend type fun to Electric Boogaloo, the return... Something like that. No, it's probably not even funny. No, let's just go. Let's just go. Okay. All right, moving on. Uh, look, I fixed it. Okay. Mm look at this. You know how this guy was walking around before? His dangly bits. Dangly bits exposed. It's basically type pornography. I couldn't decide whether I wanted the portmanteau to sound more like typography or pornography. And I went with typography and that would be type pornography. You could say Thai pornography, but then it sounds more like pornography. And I think that I want to emphasize that, like, letter form is important. It's an artwork, too. Knowing how to properly form letters so that people can read them at distances, okay? That's important. You think... Helvetica just friggin' showed up one day looking like that? No. She was designed, girl. She was designed by a designer. Okay? That's how that works. So, when you see this with dangly bits just flipping and flip flap flopping all over the place it's like oh my god it's like look we let the letter v get away with you know i don't want to talk about it because like it's really not my thing but the letter k it's like we're trying to advance as a community okay so i had to fix it Okay, we good. Did you get it? Okay, fine, whatever. The youth of America are revolting. When they should be revolting. Get it? Get it? Did you get it? Because, like... They they make you sick when you look at them. All gluteny free and weak. When they should be. You know, our founding fathers. Our founding fathers. I don't know why I'm lisping all of a sudden again. I wasn't lisping at first. But no, I think the guy who's doing the voices has a lisp. I do not. Actually, I do. I've always been self-conscious of my lisp. Thank you very much. Bringing it up 
And look, this whole idea about like, oh, the founding fathers, we know what the founding fathers would be doing. Well, first of all, if the founding fathers were alive today, they'd be like, why am I in this box? Let me out. I'm still alive. That would be the first thing. <laughs> and then the second thing, they would be like, um, the what now? You want to have a revolution about what? Okay, who even is that? I don't know what a reality TV show is. God. Don't ask me. Like, this sounds like something y'all can fix. Jeez. Dig me up asking me crap I don't even know. Come on. Okay. I'm just having some memories. I remember this one time when it was all blood and chaos in the streets. This street, son of a... God. I hate it when I make typos. Ooh. Present. I have to go back. Uh, the return. They make you the fatness. Electric Boogaloo. Some guy. I don't know. Let's go. The youth of America are revolting. Look, you're wearing... You're wearing hound's tooth. Clearly, you're a woman who can afford, like... A boyfriend who bathes sometimes. Huh. Finger tattoos, really? That's what you're hanging out with. You know these get blown out all the time. And then you have to re-tattoo them. And then they blow out again. And then they blow out again. And then pretty soon, like, your only God can judge me. Which, by the way, makes me want to judge you extra more. Looks like... It looks like gobbledygook. You want to date gobbledygook fingers? Like, look, take off the jacket. You clearly have a, a decent... Are those leggings? Okay, we can make that work. Houndstooth and leggings would just get you like a fun... Uh, like a fun skirt. Like a fun skirt. Like, you know, put some color. Look, you have color in your hair. You don't have color in your eyes. Like, we should give you like a fun eyeshadow and like a fun matching skirt. No, it'll look cute. And I'll put like... Uh, like a butterfly bow, like or like a butterfly clip. Yeah, like a plastic one. You know, it's like it's like kitsch. It's like kitsch. It look cute. Oh my God! Look, you're revolting when you should be revolting. Our founding fathers, if they were alive today, and we remembered to dig them up. Because we knew that today would be the day they were coming back alive. And then we took some time to explain everything. They... Hold up. I promised myself that I would get emotional on this slide. I'm having a hard time getting emotional. I just sound like I'm yawning and wheezing at the same time. It doesn't even sound like I'm crying. It sounds like yawning and wheezing. No, you shut up. No, you shut up. I'm, I'm pouring my heart and soul into this acting, and it's bad. No, nobody's going to want to watch my video. Because it's bad. I made a bad video. I made bad content. No, I know YouTube has tons of bad content. No, I know about like the 10 million girls in crop tops who just watch other people's videos and react to them and how like that's technically bad but they still get like a bajillion hits because, you know, crop top. No, I know that's bad but mine's like bad. I don't even sound like I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe at the end I did a little bit, but like, God. <sighs>
<laughs> and scene, and scene. Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I will be here all week, but I will not always be in this state of mind. Uh, just remembering this one time when it was all blood and chaos and then their streets. And there was this woman who was screaming and crying, Think of the children! Will someone please think of the children? She seemed to cry more when I asked if I could only think of the cute children. Why would I want to think of ugly children? <laughs> That's just weird. Like, could you imagine a guy asking, like, mm, I want to think of the ugly children. <laughs> like... The children who are not going to grow up to have, like, cool friends who ask him to go to cool parties where, you know, later on we'll experiment with things. No, just, like, safe stuff. Just, like, whatever you did in high school. Oh, shut up. You did, too, do some things in high school. Oh, God. You know what? Those cute kids, when they're in high school, they're going to try a thing or two. And we just need to remember that it's okay, that it's natural, and that we did it too. No, we did too. No, we did too. Oh my God. You know what? I think Kyle has pictures. No, he used to take pictures, remember? He thought he was going to be a photography major in college. No, now, yeah, like, just like everyone else named Kyle, he's like, he's just that shady guy that everybody knows and, like, nobody knows what he does for a living. Like, like honestly, he might be a drug dealer, but, like, It'd be weird to ask him that because then he'd be like, do you want some? And I'd be like, uh, no, but then I would feel bad because like I knew him way back when and then I'd feel like maybe I have to buy some and then like maybe he's not the kind that I like where it's like, oh, maybe just some, you know, party on the weekend stuff. And he's like, no, we need to get you that super hooked and then pretty soon you're like, working in a sweatshop in Colombia, kind of, you know, like that kind. And he gives it to you, and then you're like, oh, thanks. And then you're like trying to just get out of there, but then he's like, no, I want to see if you like it. I baked it up special. Oh, God, Kyle. When are you going to get your life together? You know what? We voted you most likely to not be like that at all. No, we thought, oh my God, we thought Jason was going to be like that. Number one was Jason. Number two was Damien. Okay, whatever. Look, Kyle, I can't keep coming here if every time I leave, I just feel like I've done something illegal. Okay? Okay, Kyle? I just need those pictures. The pictures of when we used to experiment with like just normal, just safe stuff. Just stuff that's like maybe just a little bit more than what we should be doing. But it's like still safe, you know? No, like when we were in high school. Remember when you thought you were going to do something with your life? Yeah, you thought you were going to go to college. Like, major in photography, remember? Oh my God. Don't cry. I mean, yes, your life is a shameful shambles. Which, I call that a shambles. Sounds a lot like shambles. But it's got shame in the name. Remember that, shame in the name. That's, I did that. That's me. Patent pending. Anyway. So yeah, this is a memory that I had. Uh, very normal, very normal memory. Okay. Uh, so y'all need Jesus in your life. Y'all do. I'm just saying. 
And um, the Bible, it like has things for you in your life today. Like whatever y'all are going through, like whatever hard times you got happening, or like whatever you think like, oh, maybe I can do this, maybe I can do that. Like doesn't God not say nothing about it? Well, I think maybe, I think maybe y'all be surprised that like, yeah, you got them Ten Commandments that's like, thou shalt not do either, you know, things that are perfectly obvious to everyone and then like things that aren't even a issue anymore, like covet your neighbor's donkey and whatnot. And then there's the first four that's like, you know, only believe in the Christian God and no other gods. And then pff, we put those on the, on the lawn of a public, publicly funded building paid for with tax dollars from like Buddhists and Hindus and atheists and whatnot. And then all of a sudden they get all mad. Like, like this ain't a Christian nation. Like y'all need to back off. Okay. Y'all need Jesus. Look at the sign. Y'all need Jesus. Look at the sign. Thank you very much. Okay, let's uh, let's go through it. Let's do it to it. Okay, only way we're gonna get it done is to do it. I do it to it. Thou shalt not hang out with menstruating women because they get that blood air dang wear. You know they do. Oh man, menstruating women. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Niggas get that blood, you let them sit in your truck, bloody truck. You let them sit in your donkey cart, bloody donkey cart. You let them sit in your house, bloody house. You let them go sit in that tent out in the backyard for a month, it's fine. <laughs> like, it's totally normal. Anyway, Leviticus fifteen nineteen through 20. And if a woman shall have an issue, and her issue in her flesh be blood, meaning at that time of the month, she shall be put apart seven days, and whosoever toucheth her shall be unclean until the even. And every unclean, everything that she lieth upon in her separation shall be unclean. Everything also that she sitteth upon shall be unclean. Yes, because blood smear on the, you know, seat covers and whatnot. Look, I don't even think, like, I mean, I don't think it matters if your mom keeps the plastic on the couch. Like, if she be having that time of the month, she can't sit anywhere. Either she can't sit anywhere or you can't sit anywhere. Like, that's just, that's the way it goes. Like, it's God commands it. It's for real. Hey, girl, did you get raped because you lived in a society which blames female sexuality for all of society's ills? And in a sick way, rape is an expected outcome for your gender in this backwards, crazy society. You got to marry that boy, though. Him gonna divorce you now. It's true. Because, look, you get raped. This is probably... You, you, were you walking around being all female? Did you try having an X chrome or an X and a Y chromosome? Just walking around with two X's, huh? Two X's. <laughs> My God, the audacity! You know, if you had a Y chromosome, maybe this wouldn't happen to you as much. I mean, statistically, it's a lot less likely to have. It's not like it's zero, unfortunately. Not like it's zero, but like. You get that Y chromosome, and then, like, suddenly, you're less likely to get raped. So maybe it's on you. Maybe it's on you. Look, all I'm saying is that God said maybe it's on you. Look at this. Deuteronomy 22, 8. 
If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, and lay hold on her, and lie with her, and they be found, the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father fifty shekels of silver, which coincidentally is not not a ton. I mean, it's not, like, not a ton, but, like, compared to uh, fines of today, this is not that bad. Um, and she shall be his wife, because he hath humbled her. Oh, what a great way to put that. Like, hey, girl, you want to get humble? No, I don't. Yeah, that's the point. It's what humbling is. Like, you don't. You're not into it. But I still make it happen because, you know, we live in a society where somehow this is your fault. Like, what? Oh, God. And then you got to marry me. Like, you didn't even want to, like, <laughs> you didn't even want to have casual sex with me. And now we're married, like, and I can't divorce you. That's my punishment. I might want to just, you know, wham, bam, thank you, rape. But then, like, what, I got to keep you forever? Oh, what about when you get old? That's gross. <laughs> like, bleh, bleh. maybe I'll just get another wife. Ooh, what if I rape another one and she's cute? <laughs> like, what? I don't see how there's any downside to this for the man. <laughs> like, other than eventually you end up with multiple wives. Because, like, what rapist is, is like Pringles? You can't have just one. Statistically, it's like, I tried it. Seemed like a thing. Therefore, did it again. Which, by the way, is why we worry about that guy. You know that guy. There's a person that I thought I knew very well. Who I hope uh, someday gets shivved in a prison shower. Because of what he did to his daughter. I don't know how much the Bible looks down on that act. But I think that it is terrible. Hey, comedy, moving on. Uh, it ain't just that the pork is is bad. They's bad because they don't chew the cud. Sure, they divide the hoof and are cloven-footed, but if you don't chew the cud, you are unclean and God hates you. He do. He hates y'all. Oh, my God. My God hates y'all. Look, Leviticus 11.3. All right, all right, all right. thing I like about them pigs is I get older and I still don't eat them. Okay, Leviticus 11.3. Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven-footed and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that shall ye eat. All right, all right, all right. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that divide the hoof. As the camel, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he's unclean to you, right? You just gotta keep just just keep living, man. Don't 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 eat them porkses. Don't eat them camels. You know what I'm saying? All right, bruh. Okay, look. Did you build a house? 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 Because if you didn't put a battlement on the house, look, battlement. In the crappy translations of the Bible, they're like, you got to put a guardrail on it. But that's not even what it's called. Guardrails are for highways. It's like a freaking rail or a banister or a, like, you know, I don't know what it's called, but it's definitely not called a guardrail. It's for cars. Guardrails are for cars. Anyway, let me go back. Because I, I feel like I started singing a metal song about guardrails being for cars. 
God rose up for cards. Oh my God. That song is like number one on the metal charts right now. Anyway. Bruh, do you not even have a battlement on this house? If you don't have a battlement and someone falls off your roof, then God hates you and actively wishes for bad things to happen to you. Bad things. You know, like falling off a roof and stuff. Deuteronomy 22.8 When thou buildest a new house, then thou shalt make a battlement for thy roof, that when thou bring not blood, that thou bring not blood upon thine house, if any man fall from thence. What about a woman? <laughs> what about a woman? <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. God don't want you trying to get all frisky like when your lady is on her lady times. Okay? Like when she on her lady times, just don't even go in there. And when I say in there, I mean into the tent where you make her stay in the backyard so that you don't be around her because she's unclean and she will make you unclean. Leviticus 18, verse 19. Also thou shalt not approach unto a woman to uncover her nakedness as long as she is put apart for her uncleanness. It's true, though. I mean, you ever try to do that? It's gross. God don't like it. It's gross. Um, <clears throat> give God the first what nots from your field. Oh wait, I gotta do this a different way. I gotta be more timid. Oh, if I do kif, ooh, hey, Amy, ooh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, no, sir, I'm not as into the lore as you are. Hmm, ooh, do, do, Amy, okay. Uh, so, give God the first whatnots from your field. Oh, and, um, oh, and, um. You know, I don't like it. I don't like the read. I don't like the read. I'm taking it away from myself. We're going to try it again. Uh, take two. You in the booth. Yeah, I'm uh, back here in the booth. Yes. Yeah, uh, you in the booth. Can we take this one back? Uh, we're doing this one live. This is uh, live to tape. Wait, we're live to tape right now? Yeah, uh, we're live to tape, and we can't waste tape by going back and recording over the tape. Wait, wouldn't that save tape? Like, just keeping it going, doesn't that waste tape? I mean... Nobody's going to see this part and think that it's any good. Well, that that sounds like more of a you problem than a me problem. I was just told to keep this going uh, no matter what. So, hey, uh, booth guy. Yeah, still here. Yeah, I had a question. Um, why is it that you make the sound when you're calling in but not when you're leaving because doesn't it make it both times like normally like a walkie talkie uh i don't know what you're talking about i'm just uh using the uh in-house intercom it's very uh normal high quality professional stuff All right, well, we're not getting any help from the guy in the booth. Uh, looks like we're just going to have to read this one. Uh, hot take, hot, or not hot take, hot read. See, I, I said hot take when I meant hot read. I, I wish I could fix this, but it's just bad. We're just making a bad video, guys. Just give up, give up now, I guess. Okay, 
well, let's um, let's try it again. Take it from the top. No, just the top of this page. Don't <sighs> I saw that video from last week. That was trash. Oh, who would even think that's funny? This is so dumb. Like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Okay. Let's go normal voice on this. Normal. This is 100% normal. Give God the first whatnots from your field. Oh, and uh, also, and um, you know what? You know what would be hilarious? Patrick Warburton. You know, Patrick Warburton, he's kind of a, he's got kind of a big voice. And then sometimes he gets real quiet. And then he gets loud again. You know how he does. All right. Okay. Patrick Warburton. Okay. Give God the first whatnots from your field. Oh. And, uh, also. And, uh, this would be totally crazy if you were doing this. I mean, if you are, you definitely need to be told to stop. I mean, wow. This is awkward. How to say this, uh, how to say this, uh, okay. So, if you have been, uh, cooking baby goats? Right, cooking, oh, sorry, crap, that right was bad. He does, like, a more growly thing with his voice, anyway. I mean, why cook the baby if you still got the mama? No, I'm not going back to the voice. I'm sorry. It's ruined now. This is getting through the slide now at this point. Jeez. We can't have nice things. Let's just all agree that this is why we can't have nice things. Okay. Okay. I mean, why cook the baby if you still got the mama? Not that mama. Not Oh, not that the mama. I was going to like, not that mama. Like, your mama? Your, uh, cook a goat in your mama's milk? Ugh. Gross. I mean, but anyway, regardless, technically that would probably... No, you can't... No, it's like still no cheeseburgers. Anyway. Um, okay. Give God the first whatnots from your field. Oh, and uh, also... And... Okay, this would be totally crazy if you were doing this. I mean, if you are, you definitely need to be told to stop. Wow. Uh, this is uh, awkward. How to say this? How to say this? Um, okay. So, if you've been uh, cooking baby goats... I mean, why cook the baby if you still got the mama? I... Uh, uh, not that the mama, anyway, look, don't cook the baby goat in the mama goat's milk. There, I said it, I said it, let's just move on, because we had, we have to, need to, I said it, I said it, I did, it's done. Oh, this is just a random verse 19, I think this is Leviticus... 10 is definitely from the book of Leviticus. The first of the first fruits of thy land shall bring into the house of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not see the kid in his mother's milk. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is that? A cotton poly blend, shun him, shun the non believer. Leviticus nineteen nineteen. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gather uh, cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. 
neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. Okay, this has a few things. In it. I mean, cotton poly is like just one of the things. And technically it's woolen and linen. But um, look, can't let your cattle mix with random cattle. You don't want to make weird cattle. You don't want to make like weird, like beefaloes and whatnot. I think that'd be, you know, that's what they're talking about. Um, you can't sow thy field with mingled seed, meaning you can't play like plant like potatoes and carrots in the same field. That's wrong. God hates that. Uh, and then no mingling your cloth. Very important. Very important. I think it's uh, words that we can all live by today. Okay, look, uh, so there's two kinds of women I don't want you to sleep with. Those what are engaged to other guys and uh, slaves. What? Why would I say anything about not having slaves at all? I mean, in this day and age, everybody had slaves. How could I have had the foresight to know that socially accepted morals at the time in which my sacred text was written would not be acceptable social practice in future societies? Look, I'm just the all-knowing, all-seeing creator of everything that is. Think I know these things? I mean, come on. Leviticus 19.20 And whosoever lieth carnally with a woman, that is a bondmaid, slave, betrothed to an husband, and not at all redeemed, nor freedom given her, she shall be scourged. They shall not be put to death, because she was not free. Hey, BT Dubs, guess what? Slave owners, back in the way back whens, when slave owners still own slaves, which, I mean, guess is technically still these times because there's technically still slavery in the world, but, like, um, not by people that I know personally, so it's probably fine. <laughs> oh, God, that's racist in and of itself. Anyway, regardless. Um, but, yeah, the fact that, like, Slave owners used to just be like, hey, guess what? Don't not own slaves. Like, just, you know, don't have sex with them. Like, because, first of all, they're lesser than. Like, honestly, that's the reason. And second of all, like, it just, you know, it's it's bad look. It's, uh... You know, we're just thinking about the uh, the optics of it, you know, what what it looks like to other people. Anyway, yeah. Okay, you know how you love killing thieves? Like, you just love it. Like, it's one of your favorite things. Oh, my God, killing thieves. Yeah, you love it. Well, look, you're only allowed to kill thieves in the nighttime. Also, caught thieves make great slaves. It's true. Wait, what? What is it with you and this, uh, in the future, most people will see slavery as morally reprehensible kick? Like, seriously. What is this, like, calling out slavery as some terrible thing all of a sudden kick? For real, though. Anyway, uh, look, it's just the sacred text of millions of people. I mean, why would it have anything to say about slavery given the fact that for like hundreds of years, for like 400 years, um, you know, people who believed in this book had slaves in the nation in which I now live and like they could have maybe not and probably would have not given their like pedantically ridiculous religious devotion uh if the book had been like hey you know what slaves I'm not cool with that not cool with that at all you freaking treat people equally dingus that would have been wicked progressive for like an all-knowing creator to to do that for real though oh did i read this exodus 22 2 if the thief be found breaking up and be smitten that he die, there shall no blood be shed for him. Meaning there's no, like, you won't get in trouble for killing him. 
Uh, if the sun be risen upon him, there shall be blood shed for him, for he should make full restitution. If he have nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. Like, you got to just catch the thief and then sell him into slavery. <laughs> because that's how that gets done. You know, like morally uprightness. That's true. This is just fun, guys. Like, just take it lightly. Just, like, these are fun. Like, you know, this is from the Bible. There's a lot of fun stuff in the Bible. Have you ever read that talking donkey story? The story of Balaam and his talking donkey? Like, look it up. It's hilarious. This also hilarious. Um, hey, completely unrelated. Have you seen this show? I mean, have you even seen this show? Shut up. Shut up. This is important. So, um, have you seen the show? It's, uh, it's something. You, you try and tell me it's not something. It is something. Uh, partially related, tying it back in. I'm uh, pretty sure God would hate this show if he saw it. There are lots of uh, blended fabrics. I mean, pretty much everything everybody is wearing. And uh, these guys are a couple of confirmed bachelors who uh, act all catty to each other. Well, at least this one. I mean, look at it. Uh, don't look at that hand too much. Also, uh, pretty sure that's a trans girl. Pretty sure. You know how I know? Pink hair. Literally every trans girl I know, every single one of them has pink hair. All of them. All of them. Uh, coincidentally, uh, trans males, all kinds of different hair, I guess, but a lot of, a lot of brown, surprisingly. Maybe unsurprisingly. Anyway, uh, K. Okay. So, you know how when a guy is fighting another guy, you know, two guys fighting, you know, it, maybe it's a weekend or something. So, uh, two guys are like in a bar or something like that, and they start fighting. And then one of the guys who's in the fight, his wife, gets all uppity and she grabs the other guy in the crotchetal region, you know, right by the, uh, you know, right in the, uh, <clears throat> right in the old, oh. Uh, Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, right in the old, whoop, whoop, whoop. right in the old, ding, ding. you know, I, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Right in the old, Auga. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, look, new rule, new rule. This is a new rule as of right now, moving forward. If a woman does that thing that I just said, you know, with the ooga, you know what I'm saying? Okay? She does that, we got to cut her hand off. Hand off. And then ain't nobody going to feel bad for her that she bring it on herself there. Look, you have to. You can't not do it. Look, it's a done deal, Okay? Look, don't forget. Don't forget we do that now. Next time you're in a fight, some gal gets uppity, starts crotch grabbing. You know, which is a real problem. Women grabbing men by the crotch. Like, it's a problem. Look, if men were grabbing women by the crotch, there would be something about it in the Bible that would say, hey, maybe don't... Uh, Call someone the messiah of your political party if they be grabbing people by the crotch. But the Bible don't say nothing about it. Grabbing men by the crotch. Ugh. Nah, that's not allowed. Can't do that, all right? Deuteronomy 25.11 When men strive together, one with another, and the wife of the one draweth near, for to deliver her husband out of the hand of him that smiteth him, and putteth forth her hand, and taketh him by the secrets. Oh, the secrets. 
She got them in her secret bits. Hey, Johnny, she got your secrets, didn't she? Oh, we got to cut that hand off now. Ho, ho, ho. Grab Johnny in the secrets. Ho, oh, last mistake you're going to make with that hand, I tell you. Then you shalt cut off her hand. Thine eye shall not pity her. Ho, oh, ho, she don't deserve no pity. Come on, don't even look at her. Yeah, she'll cauterize it her own self if she wants to not bleed out that bad. I mean, come on. What, we got to do everything for her? I mean, we took the hand. I mean, you know, the wound is kind of like that's your own business. You take care of you. We took care of we 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 took care of the things we got to take care of. You know, God speaks to us directly, tells us what we got to do, and he's like, "Hey, I don't no crotchy grabby," and then uh, she crotchy grabby to lose the hand. Don't say nothing about like uh, take a hot iron, cauterize the wound, maybe uh, you know take her to a hospital, make sure she don't bleed out or something. Nope. Nothing of the sort, not in there. Don't say nothing about it. Her problem now. Okay. God thinks guys with tattoos are gross. No. He doesn't love bad boys. Like, shut up. No, he doesn't. Shut up. God does not like bad boys, okay? I think you're projecting on God the fact that you like bad boys. Like, look at him. Look at him. He's got tattoos. He's a bad boy. Oh my God, but look at his face, though. Don't you want to kiss him with tongues? Like, just not even inside his mouth. Like, just full on both of you licking each other's tongues like postage stamps. Yeah, in front of the whole school. Uh, for the record, I would 100% lick this man's tongue like a postage stamp. He's a very handsome man. He a bad boy. He got them tattoos. Anyway, Leviticus 19.28. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Yep. So, uh, if uh, you believe in the God and uh, you believe the things he tells you, uh, then uh, when when someone dies, you don't get that portrait and you don't get that like, oh, mommy loves you, sorry, my little angel, I'll see you again someday, you know, 2017 to 2019. Oh, my God. Anytime you see those dates and they're really close together, it's like, ugh, ugh. I don't need to be reminded that like little kids, like, ugh. maybe that's why God doesn't love it. He knew that you would do that. And he's like, nah, just no tattoos at all. You know what? I bet God would kiss this guy with tongues. I mean, he would look the other way on the tattoos. Cause like, look, what are you not going to, oh, you're going to not kiss, look into these eyes. Is like dreamy McSteamerson over here. Okay, is your kid disobedient? Have you told him to get it together and he's still disobedient? Well, hell, have you tried killing him? It's okay. You told him. Deuteronomy 21, 18 through 21. If a man has a stubborn and rebellious son who will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and who, when they have chastened him, will not heed them. Then his father and his mother shall take hold of him and bring him out to the elders of his city, to the gate of his city. And they shall say to the elders of his city, This son of ours is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Then all the men of his sh city, oh, 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 careful, careful, you almost said the swear words. Then all the men of his city shall stone him to death with stones. So you shall put away the evil from among you, 
and all Israel shall hear and fear. So not like just honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long in the land which the Lord thy God shall give unto thee. I mean, obviously that. But also, if you have a disobedient kid, not only does he not get long days in the land which the Lord thy God shall give unto you, um, but he's going to have real short days real quick because you're going to stone him to death. Okay, uh, you know how even the women, children, cattle, and all non-combatants from your enemies are inherently evil and worthy of death? Well, only if there was something we could do about that. But what can we do? Picture someone in black and white being like, Oh, they're so evil. I don't know what to do about them. My neighboring peoples don't follow the same God I do. Whatever shall we do? Deuteronomy 2016 But of the cities of these people, which the Lord thy God doth give thee for an inheritance, thou shalt save alive nothing that breatheth. But thou shalt utterly destroy them, namely the Hittites and the Amorites, the Canaanites and the Perizzites, the Hivites and the Jebusites, as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee. Yeah, save alive nothing that breatheth. So you know those evil babies? Those like infants who are just born, but they their parents are your enemy? Uh, stab them. Like, what are you going to do? Not stab them? Oh, you're going to save them alive because you think that a baby can't be evil? Can't be your freaking enemy. Babies can 100% be your enemy. Okay? Look, if you can't imagine a way in which a baby could be your enemy, maybe you're not Christian enough. Like, maybe you need to go to my Christian camp where we get extra Christian and bring your baby. I'll teach you. Okay? Hey, I know what you're thinking. Uh, wasn't this supposed to be super fun? I mean, like, the things started to get serious at the end. I'm, like, killing babies and, like, being like, God said to, uh, man. And religion in general, like, what fun is that? Like, what is this, uh, you know, weekend where church happens? Anyway, look at this cat discotheque. Like, they're killing it. Why am I not killing it like that? All right, well, let's let's have some fun maybe instead. Well, guess what, smarty pants? Jesus Christ is super fun, okay? Jesus is fun. You're trying to act like Jesus ain't fun? Look at this, Jesus. He's so fun. Oh, my God, he's blowing. He's blowing. He's so fun. Okay, let's see what you think about these things, smarty pants. You're so smart about Jesus and what he is and isn't and does and does not. Okay, this is Top Fun Jesus times a scrapbook. Remember when Jesus killed all them pigs in the ocean and was like, Hey, go die, pigs. Oh, man. Jesus, you kill me sometimes. No, I'm not a pig. But, like, I mean, you make me laugh with laughter from the, the silly goose things that you do, even though I know you wouldn't eat a goose. Okay. Uh, this time, oh, my God, like, you're trying to change money in the temple. You're trying to turn his father's house into a den of thieves. And he's like... Oh, no, we're not going to have that. That's just not going to fly in my daddy's house. Like, you get out. You get out of my daddy's house. My daddy's house is not a place where, like, dens of thieves. you selling them pigeons. you changing the monies. Like, that's messed up. Don't do that in my daddy's house. Oh my God, this time when Jesus was like, hey, fig tree, you got any fruit for me? And the fig tree's like, nah, bro, it's like not even seasoned for that, yo. 
And Jesus was like, well, then curse you to death. You will never bring forth figs for anyone ever. You're going to shrivel and die, you piece of crap tree. Surely he was the son of God. Okay, the, look, look. Okay, look now. I was trying to find a good picture of Jesus walking on the water. I couldn't find one, and I had to get creative, okay? No, don't, don't say Jesus looks extra thick in this picture. That's not right. I mean, he is looking good, but like, let's just, you know, you know what? I think, I think you need to say a little prayer in your heart. Okay, you might have something you need forgiven for. Well, I can't tell you what it is, but I just think that maybe you're looking like in this area much and you're like, bow chicka wow wow about Jesus and that, come on. He's holding a cross. He's extra like super much Jesus power right now. So like don't even, you know, think about the thickness oh my god this time like oh I love a good wine uh, good wine good time that's what I always say and look he's making that good stuff like that good good like that stuff y'all drink at the beginning, and then by the end, you're like, oh, skinny girl, I'll drink this. Maybe it help me stay skinny. But then by drinking it, you're just like, oh, I'm going to eat this entire tub of cheese doodles. And then you wake up fat with orange fingers, and you hate yourself, and your thighs are like twice as big as they were when you started. How are you ever going to fit this swimsuit now? You'll never be as ripped as Jesus. Speaking of which, oh my God. Okay, remember when Jesus was on the cross, you know, the one thing that he was sent to do, to be like, die for us and our sins so that maybe we cannot be damned forever? Well, do you remember that time when he was so muscly ripped? Oh my God, look, he's a gleaming, glittering God. Oh my God, I just... Look, he is 100%. Like, look, he is 50% God and 50% man. But, like, he is 100% God man in this photo. It's, like, extra good. And, you know, look, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes when I'm looking at this picture, which I do late at night sometimes... And I'm all by myself on the computer and I'm just thinking about Jesus. Well, I'm looking at this and I swear sometimes that Satan, I think he's sneaky because he gets me to thinking about like, oh, oh, Jesus, you got that like, <whistles> you know, like Brad Pitt had in that scene in a Fight Club. You know what I'm talking about? This a little little uh, happy trails to you <laughs> is like that little like you know where this is going look jesus almost give me a peekaboo he almost give me a peekaboo right off that there cross it's all i can do people it's all i can do to just stay on the straight and narrow because i mean look at muscly rip jesus like, I know he's supposed to die for our sins, but remember that part when he's like, no, I'm going to break it with my manly muscles, and then I'm going to punch every single one you Romans in the face with my nail hand. Oh, my God. But, like, look, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't know how he kept this on, because he had to, like, punch 50 Romans in the face with his nail hands, and, like, how are you going to keep this on? It's like, boop, boop. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I would love to see. 
Okay, I just, I'm curious, okay? Because, like, no, I'm not even going to say it. You know what? You don't deserve it. You all are acting like I'm weird, and maybe it's that y'all are weird. Maybe I love Jesus more than y'all. Maybe that's what that is, okay? And now, it's time to get shallow. Look, the person in the deep, freaking miserable. This kid is dead. Dead. Like, this is going to be a funeral for this kid, and everyone's going to be extra sad because, like, this kid was going to grow up to be, like, cool and whatnot, but then he died before he experienced anything cool. Like, he didn't even experience next-gen consoles. Like, his parents, they had a Wii U, and, like, they just never gave up on it because they were like, oh, a lot of the games that were ported to the Switch came from the Wii U, so do you even need it? And, like, then he died. He didn't even play the Switch, and, like, PS5 is out now. So, like, what is his stupid life? But look at the guy in the shallow end. He's fine. He's fine. So, like, I think the lesson, stay shallow. Thank you. Obviously. Oh, we skipped one. Okay. This is a little who wore it better. Uh, the lampshade from... Uh, <clears throat> God, you know, that's so embarrassing in an award show to have, like, scratchy in my throat. Mm. But this is the big night. We got to get it right. Okay. Lampshade from a Christmas story. Versus the residents. You know what? I tried listening to the residents again tonight. And if I don't enjoy them in my present state of mind, there's like no enjoying them. And I like, at most, I didn't mind them as much. Like, I don't see how people are like, I love the residents. Like, I don't get it, dude. Like, I get some pretty out there things, like a lot of psychedelic stuff and kraut rock and, like, Eno's ambient stuff and whatnot. Like, but this, I don't get it. <clears throat> so, like, freaking, okay. Uh, Captain Beefheart. Like, I get it. Like, I get Captain Beefheart. Like, it's really complicated. Like, Zappa, I get Zappa. But, like, this, what? Anyway, okay, uh, number two, like, is it even a contest? Look at this kid, freaking natural. Amy Poehler, I'm sorry, you are the weakest link, goodbye. Um, this is, this is tough, I don't even, like, this one has, you know, George Costanza's jacket um, on underneath, but this one didn't die and this one probably did from an overdose like immediately after this photo was taken so i'm gonna go with this guy anyway um who will wear it better <laughs> oh man politics did you see it coming <laughs> like okay i would be that <laughs> Let's, hey, guy in the booth. Yeah, uh, still here. Wait a minute. Did you just do two sounds? Yeah, um, same as I've always been doing. That's a standard number of sounds. Wait, that one was three. You just had three. No, uh, one of those, I was just telling you what the sound sounded like. I was making it with my mouth. <sharp inhale> well, wait, how do I know that you're not making the second one with your mouth? Just so that I think that there are two <sharp inhale> sounds. <sharp inhale> uh, I mean, technically, how do you know I'm not making both of them with my mouth? <sharp inhale> God, uh, I... I don't know. This is probably... 
<sighs> probably proves the fact that we're all living in a simulation and um, that it will end at some point. Some freaking alien's going to spill coffee on his alien laptop and life, the universe, and everything will end just abruptly. It'll just blink out and the guy will go to the store and he'll just buy a new universe. They're, they're slightly cheaper there than laptops are at like Office Depot in America. Anyway, uh, crap, I forgot how to comedy. Hey, distract them. <laughs> now I'm distracted. I can't change slides because I keep looking over there. Okay, I made it. Okay. Uh, and not David Let. Oh, I was going to like make 10 slides of this so that I could, you know, reveal them one at a time. You know what? You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do exactly that. Nope. You didn't see that list. Pause. Okay, okay, that didn't take very long, honestly. So uh, let's go back to it. It's top 10 list. Okay, a not David Letterman top 10 list of things you don't ever want to hear your doctor say. And look, I know top 10 lists are the intellectual property of NBC. No, I think he got him with CBS too. Like, how could, yeah, the intellectual property. Regardless, he owns them. He owns the concept of top 10 lists. He published many books of them, and this is not one of his. So just uh, don't sue me, Dave. Anyway, here we go. Number 10. What? Oh, God. Ha ha. This sure beats digging ditches like I used to. Number 9. The heart stays on the inside this time, right? Number eight. We found a leftover baby, so I guess technically you're getting twins. Number seven. No, no, I get to hit. I get the first hit on the propofol. 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 Let me take it again. Number ten. This sure beats sticking ditches like I used to. Number nine. The heart stays on the inside this time, right? Hey, remember last week when I kept like, anyway, I'm not doing that this week. That was stupid. You hated it. I hated it. It was a dumb joke. Not even worth it. All right. Number eight. We found a leftover baby, so I guess technically you're getting twins. No, no, I get the first hit on the propofol. Ooh, nailed that one this time. That's why you go back and do it again, people. The only question is, do we sew this guy's butt to that guy's mouth or the other way around? Don't worry. Even if you don't make it, I can reanimate the dead. Look, I didn't spend those three weekends in Grenada getting this phony degree just so I can have a nurse backtalk me. You know, Grenada, we like totally took it over and then our doctors go there to get cheap, degree, cheap medical degrees. I know people who have gotten their degree there. It's true. No, he's not seriously ill. I just, seriously, eel. <laughs> no, he's not seriously eel. I just want to take the shrinking ship inside him because I've always wanted to get freaky while miniaturized and floating through someone else's body. No, I'm a super freak. You didn't know. Anyway, regardless. Uh, number two. Okay, taking bets on whether or not this guy makes it. And the number one, nurse, bring in the gimp. And that's your not David Letterman top 10 list of things you don't ever want to hear your doctor say, I said them, I am not a doctor. I only have a master's degree. Why? Because I wanted to have a job. That's not a joke. That is a sad fact about post-secondary education in America. Can we fix it? 
I don't know if we want to. Anyway, moving on. Hey, the cast of ALF, where are they now? Max Wright, in memoriam. Uh, he shuffled off this mortal coil just a uh, couple of years ago. He was a beautiful man. So uh, let's all take in, a mo take in a moment of silence for Max Wright. <clears throat> uh, just a moment of silence. Thank you. <coughs> uh, 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 uh. Uh, thank you for your silence. Okay. Uh, Andrea Elson, she's now a successful yoga instructor. You go, girl. And Alf uh, directs horseplay videos. Uh, moving on. Okay, these are the teams that Vegas doesn't think can win the AFC. So keep your eyes peeled. There might be some real good value bets uh, for next time you're in Vegas. Um, or if you've got connections with a bookie, uh, maybe you can, you know, lay some money down on some of these teams. Uh, you're going to get a lot back on some of these if they win the AFC. Okay. Uh, the A team, 80 to, 80 to 1 underdogs. I mean, look, everybody knows Mr. T brings it. B.A. Baracus brings it hard. But uh, Murdoch, like, come on. He's seen better years. All right. Uh, team seven, they're 90 to one underdogs. Uh, do I even need to explain? Uh, I, I wouldn't bet this even at uh, greater value. Uh, the kids safety team, 150 to one underdogs. And quite frankly, I'm mostly worried about their lack of shoes. Uh, you think you're going to win the AFC with no shoes? Also, how is that safe? You're the kids' safety team. You're supposed to wear shoes. It's like basic safety. <sighs> anyway, moving on. Uh, team America, they're 180 to 1 underdogs. Um, you know, they've had some bad tangles in the... Uh, they had some really bad tangles in the preseason. And uh, people started to think that maybe this wasn't going to be their year. And it just... It just hasn't been. Uh, Caspi Team Realty, 190 to 1 underdogs. Uh, I am assuming that is an actual number. Please, for the love of God, don't call it. Uh, Aston Villa, 200 to 1. Uh, Aston Villa, I mean, they're always in the mix, but can they win it? I don't know. I don't know. They're going to need a lot more goal scoring if they're going to win in the AFC. Uh, Team Rocket, uh, 300 to 1 underdogs, pretty obvious. You know, uh, it's, you know, these two, what's going on? Like, they are the weirdest lesbian couple. Like, I'm Jesse. <laughs> or like, no, I'm Jesse and I'm James. <laughs> yeah and then Meowth is like hey I'm from like Brooklyn or some nonsense for no reason like these two lesbians and their weird talking cat like I don't see him going that far this season I think they're taking off with a new blast quite frankly uh, Team Edward 501 underdogs I think we all know why no no reason to explain that. And uh, that's it. Look. I promised you weekend type fun. Did I deliver? No, not really. It wasn't that fun. Uh, it wasn't that funny. I think this one is significantly worse than last week's, and last week's involved just flipping back and forth between slides. I'm sorry. My brain thought it would be a good idea to make this, but it's probably not. Anyway. Started off all good, but, you know. 
ends on a sad note. Maybe I'm not as funny as I think. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta face the harsh truths. Like this one. Infinite regression. Alright. Well, we'll see ya. <laughs>